Look, before we get into the content, it's really important that you guys hit that subscribe button. We're out here every single day working for y'all, trying to hit y'all with the best content. And what motivates us to keep going is people like you. So hit the subscribe button, join the conversation, join the Deuce Gang. What he said. So I don't know how to feel about this next story because I want to be like, you stupid motherfucker. But at the same time, like, it's about that positive energy, right? It's about putting out have that. You got to have understanding is, is pretty is what it is. You got to have understanding. Right. I mean, maybe this person who we're about to, I guess we could say his name, maybe Joe Rogan is, you know, <laughs> he, he did what he thought was best for him. Let's just get right into the tape. People say, right. do you think it's safe to get vaccinated? I've said, yeah, I think for the most part, it's safe to get vaccinated. I do. I do. But if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Yeah. Are you healthy? Are you a healthy person? Like, look, don't do anything stupid, but you should take care of yourself. You yeah. should. If you're if you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like, I don't think you need to worry about this. Okay, pause it for a sec. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm just gonna end it right there. That's all okay. we need to see of that one. But go ahead. Yeah. Um. So, just to be clear here, you know, I hear what Joe Rogan is saying, but for viruses, it really doesn't matter how healthy you are. You can be infected by anything that is considered a virus. You know what I mean? It doesn't have anything to do with your health as far as your recovery, which I'm pretty sure some people are saying he was focused on the recovery aspect. You can't predict that either. So you can catch it and say just because you're healthy that it's going to be okay, but not necessarily going to be the case because you don't know how bodies will react. So, you know, take that little clip that Joe Rogan said with a grain of salt. Take his whole messaging with a grain of salt. I mean, he makes some he makes some he makes some valid points, though, as far as as far as anti anti vaccination, like people who are against the vaccination. He does make good points, but sometimes he doesn't. Well, here we are now. Um, uh, you know what? September 1, 2021. All right. And this is Rogan today. Hello, friends. So I got back from the road Saturday night feeling very weary. I had a headache and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house. And throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it, all kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip, and I did that three days in a row. And so here we are on Wednesday, and I feel great. I really only had one bad day. Sunday sucked, but Monday was better. Tuesday felt better than Monday, and today I feel good. I actually feel pretty fucking good. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is we have to move Friday, the Friday show in Nashville. Uh, Don't care about that stuff, Mr. All Rogan. right, that's the bad news. Okay. You know, I mean, I don't, like, honestly care about the show stuff, um, but... I'm glad to hear he's feeling a lot better. But if you noticed a lot of the things he said, I don't think that your everyday person has access to the stuff that he was even talking about. You know what I mean? Like he could just I don't wake even know what, what, what any of those things were. Those were all new words to me. I learned those all today. Yeah, the man said he just woke up and threw everything at it. Great. I'm yeah. glad that he has the resources to do that. But not everyone does. Most people are like, fuck, I got this shit. Let me just go to shoppers or wherever, or at least send someone and get like a Tylenol cold and flu and just sleep and hope to God I wake up. But I mean, there are people that are out there that, well, I mean, on both sides, actually, on both sides, there's people who are not vaccinated, who are looking for alternatives, you know, something else to do to to protect them from this. And then there are people who who have been vaccinated who realize that you can still you still can catch the vid, you know, and you can still give it to other people, even though you are vaccinated. So they're looking for 
extra, like a double shield, you know, like double bagging when you're when you're doing that ugly ass hoe. Yeah, you got to you got to double bag up. That's what that's what the vid is right now. It's the ugly hoe. So they're looking for ways to double bag it. So, I mean, Joe Rogan putting this out there. Helpful and dangerous. Ivermectin. One of the drugs that he that he definitely named. That's that's got a name for itself nowadays, apparently. I mean, all right. So Ivermectin, uh, Ivermectin. Yeah. So basically, what is that? That's the drug that they use on cattle. <laughs> well, I mean, OK, Ivermectin, pretty much what it is, it's a, it, in, a, in, a, in its pill form. It can be used for horses and cows, which it, it's used by vets for horses and cows. But it's used to treat parasitic worms in the system. Long story short, that's what it does. What's COVID? Is COVID a worm? I last time I heard it's 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 not. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Well, it's I, not. It's not. So okay, and, 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 and also and also, you know, it, it should be noted. And if you guys watch the news, you know this already. Um, there there's a spike in, in, in calls to, to, to poison control for people coming in with this shit. Yeah. Right now. Now, mind you, uh, this particular drug, it can be used for some things in in people. Right but not to treat COVID. So some people can actually use this to treat, I can't remember what it's called, fact check me, well not fact check, but please um, uh, enlighten the viewing public as to what it can be used for humans. But there's like maybe on any given year, maybe about 3,000, maybe 8,000 um, uh, prescriptions for this, you know, people, yeah. right? Since this came out, right? Since it's, oh, it could treat COVID. Whew. Over eighty thousand prescriptions, and I'm not, and I'm not surprised. Like I said, people on both sides are looking for it. And as for what it's used for, for for humans, it's a Thank topical you. form, the topical form of the drug that's used to treat head lice and uh, skin conditions, says the FDA, according to the FDA. Okay, not me. I'm not a medical, so that's that's what the FDA says. There's uh, other forms, like you were saying, that are used in horses and cows that are used to treat heartworm. Now the side effects of this drug, the bad side of this drug, because obviously there's going to be side effects with everything. It's in the commercials that we all watch and love. The side effects for this one, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, low blood pressure, an allergic reaction such as itching or hives. You can have seizures. There's dizziness. You can have problems with balance. You can go into a coma. You can die from taking this drug, potentially, depending on what your system is, is, is saying at the time. So it's really about what is the connection between this and like, and COVID-19, like why are these two things connected? And it really stems from, uh, there's two studies. There was a UK study and there's a use you, uh, a state uh, study in the U S. So I'm going to read, I'm reading this to make sure that I got all the facts straight. Cause you know, when you report this, you got to make sure you have everything proper. Right. Thank so you. there was a, you, thank you. Thank you, YouTube, for, for <laughs> make, making sure that we have to do some more reading. Thank you. Anyways, a UK study led by the University of Oxford is testing ivermectin as a treatment for COVID-19. Now, there are six active clinical trials of ivermectin in the U.S. against COVID-19. And according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine's website, it says most of the six trials call for ivermectin to be used with other drugs as a treatment. And there have been, although the studies have been small, there have been studies that have shown that ivermectin with the use of some other drugs, depending on what they are, I'm not sure if it's the cocktail that, that Rogan laid out, if it's that martini, but there have been people who have been cured. And it's very important to say ivermectin has not been proven as a treatment for COVID-19. That's super important to say. But yeah. I mean, if you're out there looking for an alternative, this is the level of desperation that people have got to in order to find something else. I don't think it's about that. Like, I'm so glad that you shared the study that's being conducted. And more important, that it, it's not being conducted as far as use on its own. There's other shit that goes into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, viewing public, try making pizza without dough. They're just a cheesy cheese ball. <laughs> Sounds you know, delicious. 
but it's well, not I'm pizza. Saying, yeah, you need more, right? Yeah, but it's and, it's not pizza. Yeah, and they got people running out just taking this shit dolo. You know what I mean? So and the crazy part is you can't is you can't stop people from taking it because no. this yo, it's crazy when you look into things because we've never heard about this before. Well, I don't know. Have you heard about ivermectin? No, before? no, okay. not since people have been going nuts. No. So we haven't heard about ivermectin before. Joe Rogan speaks about ivermectin in a little blurb that he talks about that makes him feel better. This stuff goes crazy, and you find out that the world has been going nuts over this thing. I found out through the re- through the research that I was doing too that there was a case um, between a lady who actually won the case because she wanted the doctors to use ivermectin, even though they were recommending against it. She wanted them to use ivermectin as opposed to giving her husband uh, a COVID nineteen vaccine after he had contracted COVID nineteen. She and she won the court case. So they had to do it the way she wanted to. Right. Which makes sense. Of right. Course. It's your. But OK. But then we talk about we talk about choice. And this is a choice. So this is when a choice you, that people see, should be allowed yeah, to make. Yeah. No, 100 percent. When you see all the uproar and even just my demeanor towards it. I'm not telling people they don't have a choice. They could do whatever they want. It, that's yeah. the you have a choice. The uproar and my demeanor is just it hasn't like you said, it's a small study. There's other things that go with it. Nothing's been proven yet. By the way, just because they say it's not FDA approved and every CDC and all that other stuff, that don't mean shit either. <laughs> I just I, I, I wanted to leave because that's a whole different. Uh, bag we of worms yeah, right we don't have to get into that. But I mean, if you're. You know, agreed. Agreed. If you yeah, want to know how I stand. Yeah. And if you're a person who watches this podcast, you should already know that was coming. But that yeah. doesn't mean shit either. But also we're talking numbers here. We're th- that's what I go off of numbers here. I want to see success stories. That's what I want to see. Success stories. People. With could an talk- S. Yes. With an S. People could talk about the vaccine and they can talk about it confidently. You know, I'm sitting here ached up right now. Some people have died from taking it. Um, uh, uh, other things, which I won't get into right now, but the success rate far outweighs the negative. That's yeah. why people could talk about it confidently. This particular drug, the study's too small. It seems promising. And I'm for, I'm assuming you are, I'm for anything. <laughs> hey. Anything that get, gets us back to listen, Trump was telling us to drink bleach. If that worked, if that really, really worked, let's drink bleach. Get the light <laughs> in my skin. What he whatever works, man. Let's but that, but that shows the that shows that shows the level. That's what I mean. Once again, that shows the level that people are willing to go in order just to preserve what they feel is their right to choice. You know what I mean? People would rather choose to drink something that they know is poisonous than than be given something that they are being told in their own mind, even though, you know, it I, as you say, research, there's scientists that have been put into it. Obviously, it's been developed, blah, 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 blah. Even though all of that is put behind the, the shot, I still rather would trust my own choice, my own gut, my own feeling and go with something else like that's the really the mindset that's great hey man like i said at the top of this video you know i'm I'm trying to turn over a new leaf here i'm not gonna bash you people i'd be going ham right now but do you boo (laughs) do you boo if you think bleach is the way drinking bleach is the way do you if you think ivermectin dolo is the way do you if you think getting the vaccine is the way, you know what I'm going to say, right? Do you, boo? Well, obviously, you're going to say it on that one. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, literally, the only thing that for I... For all of them. For, no, I mean for all of them. Yeah, but the only thing I stand firm on that I won't waver on is a mask. That's the only thing, because to me, it's just common sense. Here's what I ask you to do. Take a lighter, and then... The, the flame's gonna go out, right? Right. Right. Take a lighter, put your hand in front of it, and then try to blow. See what happens to the flame. 
This is just, you don't need science for this. Now, obviously, when I say that, you're like, well, what do you mean? If I wear a mask and I blow, I could probably still get the flame out. Of course you can, but not as easily. So even if it provides a tiny little molecule of protection, it's better than nothing. You don't need science for that. You don't need science for social distancing. That's the only thing I'm firm on. Like, because that's not science. That's common sense. That's all I'm saying. Uh, viewing public, what are your thoughts here? How much bleach bleach have you drank? Don't drink bleach. YouTube, we're not suggesting that anyone drink bleach. Don't drink bleach. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ivermectin, uh, what are your thoughts here? Are there any success stories? Leave it in the comments. I want to see links. Um, if you had your own personal experience, please do share. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Deuces. Um, so I guess we should stay with, with the vid here. Because. I mean, we are talking about right to ch uh, right of choice, right? So that's yo. Thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like, please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely, we finally hit our goal of five hundred subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to a thousand, and <laughs> we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon. Rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.